Welcome everybody to my channel. My name is David Fiore. Now today I'm going to do a quick tutorial for beginners specifically and mostly, not mostly, all freehand. Don't get nervous when I say freehand. We're going to be doing a picture like this one. Clouds, couple birds, horizon line, water. That's it. Very simple. We're going to be using two blues. So stick around and enjoy it. Please comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, welcome back everybody out there. Like I said, we're gonna be using this white canvas and they're eight by 10. Uh, they're they're pre-coated. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use one color in two different shades. We're gonna use, the first color we're gonna go with is uh, Createx Colors Wicked. It's W087 for anybody who wants to know. And it's their opaque daylight blue. Now when you're doing clouds and water underneath, you can eyeball it to draw your horizon line or you can tape it off. And for this tutorial, um, I'll actually will tape it off so everyone can see how crisp it comes out. Any questions at all about anything, just put them in the comments and I'll get back to everybody. Please like and subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be doing giveaways, I'm doing a lot of stuff. I'm gonna do a bi-weekly tutorial. So this is where we want our horizon line. I'm just gonna hit the tape about a half, about a quarter inch below the tape. I'll let the overspray work for me. So let's make sure I got my flow going correct. So now we've established a horizon line, we have to put in some clouds. So clouds are not specific. You can use paper towel for a cloud, but I want to get everyone used to doing a freehand type work. I use paper cutouts and stencils. Um, um, I do masking, I use masking films, but for something like this, it's, it's good. It's, this is a good exercise and a pretty cool picture to do to learn control of your airbrush. So what I'll do is I'll coat the top and I'll just start shading into the cloud. The more random, the better. And we're not going for a realistic looking clouds. We just want to get shapes. We got the shapes in there. You can even go back in and run to the crowd. Clouds a little bit better freehand. These type of clouds right here, these ones I call my, my Snoopy clouds. They remind me of the Snoopy comments. So now you got your little clouds in there. And you can make some areas darker to uh, push the cloud edge to you. And you can put you can hit the cloud edge and make it come to you. Or if you want to push the cloud to the back a little bit, you can just fog it in a little bit and that a white color always come forward. Dark colors always fall back. Even though this is a light blue, it'll still fall back. So this area right here, 
we got a little color line going here for our cloud and right here it kind of whisks off so we'll just go around the edge and see how it looks more like a sky more than this side because you have dark light dark light dark lights contrast and colors so we'll do this side the same just light dusting don't want to flood any anything that you do you want to build up your Layer slowly. And just like that. And now we'll reinforce our horizon line. Today I'm using my GSI Creos 289. It came with a 0.3 needle nozzle set. I had it uh, ordered from Spray Gunner and got the conversion kit to make it a 0.2. So now we take the tape off that we made our horizon line with. And you're gonna get overspray. We got a little overspray traveling down this way. That's perfect if it was a, if I was going for a particular look in the bottom and I wanted this completely white. You can not only use your masking tape to get your horizon line, you can use A4 copy paper. Like a sheet of paper like this that doesn't have cutouts in it obviously. And just put it like that and that way you ain't gotta worry about it. But since we're going to go into same color we're going to do blues all the way down i don't mind if blue goes underneath because this is water so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to flip this over and put it up here this isn't really for any particular reason it's just something i got in the habit of doing and um that's why i do it so now what we're going to do is this is going to be our lightest color this is where we want our highlights. Totally, once again, totally random. Just start working the water, and I work it in in strips. So, just pull lines. And I'm pulling generously thick lines to start with, just to get an idea. So you can see how my lines start there and they stagger back that way we we want to totally random so this one's up pull some in longer leave some out here pull some in longer and go short with some on this side too I know you can't see it on camera very good yet because we're building our layers up slowly. That's the key to airbrushing. Once you get the fundamentals down, you want to build it. You just don't, don't want to go in and just flood it with paint. It's easier to put more paint on. It's impossible to take it off in some instances. And that's something you don't want to get a habit of doing is just flooding, flooding your artwork flooding your substrate so we're just going to continue working back and forth and then we'll drop a little bit different color blue in here and we'll work it Now you can see how the the light starting to form in here. Once again, just a simple painting tutorial. 
all we're doing is adding in strokes. What we're really doing is we're adding random strokes to establish our highlight. Now let's fill a little couple of the gaps in, give us some texture. We'll darken up the horizon line, bring it down, coat the side of the panel, the bottom. This will give you an idea of what we got going on. So you got the clouds, you got you got your center coming down. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add in just a drop of a darker blue to the same blue we already have. So we started out with the Create Text Wicked. W087 Wicked Opaque Daylight Blue. We, that's just our starting point. Now I'm going to add right into my mixing cup. Let me shake it up a little bit. Remember, always shake your paint vigorously. We're going to add in just a straight 0007 Wicked Blue. It has more of a kind of like a purplish tint to it. So I have about this, about three, four drops of this daylight in here, and I'm gonna add two drops of this into my cup. Like that. And now I'm just gonna pinch off the end and back bubble to mix it. Because there's daylight blue all in here inside my airbrush from here to here. So I added more paint in so I'm going to back bubble it to get the new paint in. Basically call it cup mixing. I'm going to spray test on a piece of paper. Now we have a slightly darker blue. Now we're doing just visualizing in our head. The horizon line. You just got a picture dead center of your horizon line with something there and then straight down you get your um, you get your cast, your shadow. And this in this instance our highlight. And we'll, do, we'll get more generous with our lines. And now we'll just dust over some of these areas. And if you're totally new, you don't want to spray and then let totally off your trigger. Always keep your air on. It, it helps with tip dry. You get tip dry at the end, you can pick it off or use a sponge. But if you constantly got air going and just pull back for paint when you need to, but keep the air going. If you got a pretty good consistency with your paint, you should have less tip dry. There's no such thing as no tip dry, but you should have less tip dry. But so now we'll just shade in like where it goes dark, light, 
dark, a light, dark, light. Some of them lights will just tint. Pour around the edge and do this other side. So it's all about layering. We'll hit the corners of this up here. Now I'll also do some more whips. It's a good way to practice your lines. I did all the beginner tutorials where you do your lines and your dots and by all means practice them. But once you're starting to feel comfortable, you can come in and you can practice them on a fun little piece of art like this. This is absolutely fun to do. And we're gonna darken some of these clouds up a little bit now. Totally just random shapes, regular little clouds. Now put little tiny whips in. Kind of like you're doing pencil work. You just keep adding layers to you feel you're satisfied. See, when we first started, it didn't look like we were doing anything down here. Now as I gradually build layers, we don't, we're not using no white paint. This is just coming forward. We're bringing that forward. And we're gonna darken the sky up in here a little bit in certain spots to bring them clouds out in a minute. But you wanna build everything slow in there. Dust over it, build up the tone, the in between water tone. So I'm trying to simulate that it's moving. And now we darken this uh, So now, when we take the tape off, we should have a pretty simple, basic clouds and then fade into here. Now I got this hard line. Now what I'm gonna do is, a lot of people do this different than me, and this is the way I like to do it. I got my hard line here. I'm gonna soften all this up and, and drag the cloud down to meet this line and dust it in and it'll all look like one cohesive thing. Just doing basic random shapes. Now here's where I do the, my fades for my clouds. I'm actually gonna take it from where this is on top of the line and I'm gonna fade it into the water to give it depth. So like this. You see how that line disappears? The cloud is still there and I'm gonna bring it down into the water. And then we 
fading across. Also, things that you can do, very simple, is um, if you don't know how to do, you know, the little birds, which is the V shape, there's two ways you can do it. You can do it with a piece of poster board or paper or whatever you have on, whatever you have on hand. You can take it and then just bend it like a V. Get that V shape like this. Right, so what we'll do is make it smaller. So we got our black poured out and I'm just gonna dab it up in some paint. And what you do is you just go in and Dab like this, like that, and do little ones as they go farther away. The other thing you can do is take a paintbrush. You can go in and do little V's. One down here, we do it real small. Like that, the ones up here you can just do that. Like that, it gives a gives you illusions of birds flying around. If you really wanted to make it a dark looking scene, then you can go heavy with shading. You can just really blast it in. But go around where maybe you would want to put a sun. So we'll go in and just thicken these up. And then we'll fade this down nice and dark. Push them birds to the back by hitting them a little bit. Make them more part of the painting. Even though we didn't put in a light source or a sun there, if you, when you're going heavy, you just get that little dip around. You spray come in like this, and you can do your shading. So if I just do an oval, and then come up, and then just go hard on the clouds and fade it out go over here go hard on the clouds it's all about building layers and then fade it out but overall that's a basic painting it's not hard to do um, These came like this, six uh, pieces, artist canvases, eight by 10. They're very good to practice on and they're very good to do commission work on too. But these are the same ones Hobby Lobby and all the craft stores carry. So that's the end of, uh, of our tutorial for today. Hey, thanks for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. It's a quick for beginners, straight to the point. There's a lot of other things you can do. But I just wanna say thank you. Please like, subscribe, share. I'll link all the products I use and where you can get them in my description of my video. Um, I will link Createx Colors. I will link Trigger Happy Grips to minimize hand fatigue. I'll link 
everything that I basically use from my easel all the way down. It's very inexpensive, and that way it helps you guys out. Like I said, drop a comment. Please like and subscribe. I'm trying to grow my channel. Um, whatever you want me to see me do or you would like to know about, I'd be more than happy to help you. And from David Fiore Art, take care, and I'll see you in two weeks.